Hey guys, this is Ginger. Welcome back to my channel. So I told you guys earlier that I was going to do a another haul once I got back. So this probably will be a part two um, <clears throat> from a video that I'll probably previously post. And this will be posted after. Not really a part two, but let me just go ahead and share with you my Aldi's candle haul. So Aldi's here. I picked these up from Aldi's um, a few days ago. And I recorded something earlier during the week. But I didn't like how it turned out, so I'm actually re-recording. So let's just get started, okay? Um, yeah, so this first candle is called Honey Glazed Pear Cider. And again, these candles come from Aldi's grocery store, and they are priced at $3.99 for the 14-ounce candles. And these are also have the three wicks. So these are kind of similar to the Bath & Body Works candles. Only difference is the price and maybe the throw it's not as good, but the throw is pretty good. I mean, you really can't complain for what you're paying for this price, which is a $3.99. There's a lot of candle for $3.99. So I got two of the pear glazed. And then the next um, one I got is Winter Lodge by Huntington Home. And this one smells, this one smells more like a soap. Nothing really wintry about this candle. Not to me. Maybe once you burn it, it'll probably maybe give off some other type of notes. But as far as now, it doesn't. But I think the labeling on here is pretty cute. So yeah, like I said, so you can't beat this for $3.99. Any of these, you can't beat them for $3.99. I mean, in comparison to those from Bath & Body Works, those are $24.99, but they had a pretty good sale today. Um, but I didn't pick up any candles from them because they had them for $12, but I didn't pick up any because I, purchased all these within the last uh, few days. So I purchased all of these. So I think this is nine candles. And then I have nine, probably about 10, 10 or 12 more up there that I picked up. So I'm pretty much done with candles unless they have a sale on the aromatherapy bath and body works um, candle. Cause that one I'll definitely buy. Not a full price, but I will buy it. Um, okay. So the next candle which are the ones that I'm really, really excited about, guys. These are the Lux candles from the Huntington Home Collection, okay? And these are the Aldi brand. I don't know if you can see that label, but it is really, really cute. It's kind of, it is a Lux type label, kind of plain Lux, modern, I don't know, but it's really, really cute. I like it. And this candle was actually... $4.99 if I'm not mistaken. So the Lux candles are $4.99 and the regular candles are $3.99. This is a 14 ounce. And these come in the 10.5 ounce, okay? So there's a difference in the ounce and there's a difference in price. And I guess it's a dollar more because it's the Lux. Uh, these are also known as the Jo Malone dupe. They don't say that in the store, but I've kind of done some research online and these are referred to as the Jo Malone dupes. And this particular one is by Huntington Home and the fragrance is pomegranate and sandalwood. And this one is, the name is called number three. So I think these Joe Malone dupes, they go by number. So this particular one is number three, pomegranate sandalwood. And so the notes are listed on these types. So the notes for this one says red fruits, pink pepper, and amber, which I definitely smell. So it does smell really earthy. It smells peppery and you definitely smell the fruit, okay? And I love this color on here. This navy blue is so cute. And I actually went back yesterday to try to pick up a few more of these blue ones, but they were kind of all sold out. But I think they may had a few more, but I didn't feel like digging all in the crates and stuff for those. So I picked up two of those, uh, number three, pomegranate sandalwood. This one is real earthy and fruit, fruity, as well as a little spice too. And it smells really good, okay? So let's move on to the next candle, which this is the one that I was excited about is the lime basil oh i don't know why i keep saying basil so lime basil and mandarin this one smells really good and this one goes by number one lime mandarin and basil and the notes on this candle uh oh it's kind of dark in here 
So citrus, fruit, basil, and cedar wood, okay? Smells really, really good. I love the packaging, I love the color. It's a go for me. I love this one. Um, I can't wait to burn it. Uh, I may burn that one first. And then the last candle that I have from the Joe Malone, or not from the Joe Malone, from the Hunting in the Home Lux Candle Collection, Joe Malone Dupe. This one is called um, Number 21 Nectarine Honey. This one looks really, really cute. I love the color because it's more of a natural and nude color, which is what I'm definitely into right now. This one smells so good, y'all. This one smells like the Orange Blossom um, Joe Malone fragrance. And actually, if you guys hang on, I'll, I have a few samples from Joe Malone. Let me go get those and try to compare the smell. So hang on, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm back. So I went to go get these um, samples of Joe Malone perfumes that I have. Um, I actually gave these to Kennedy because I'm not really a fan like of the perfumes per se, but there is one that I kind of do like that I was wearing at one point. And I think it is the, it's not that one, the orange nectarine something, something. I can't see. This is nectarine blossom and honey. Let me see something. So I think this one is supposed to be the dupe for this one <laughs> for number 21. So the nectarine and honey, this one is nectarine honey uh, blossom from Joe Malone. And this really does smell like it, y'all. So here's the little sample tube of the Joe Malone. You really can't see. So this, this um, perfume has cost so much, you probably wanna go get a few samples, uh, which I did. I went and got samples from um, the store, the mall, because I wasn't sure if I really, really um, enjoyed the scents or not. So they let me take a few samples home so I can get used to them. So, but I, you know what? I actually might go back and buy this one. This one smells really, really good. And it's the Nectarine Blossom and Honey. So I think I may go back and purchase this one because it does smell good. And so this one is the dupe for the number 21 of the Joe Malone collection for the Aldi's candles, okay? And then this one is, these words are so small, y'all. I can't see. But let me try to spray it and smell it. So this one doesn't smell like any of them, but I like this one. So you know what? After I after I determine which one this one is, I may go back and get this one as well. Oh, this one is the Honeysuckle and uh, Divana. Honeysuckle Divana. This one smells good. And these are actually kind of made to mix with one, on, one another. So the Honey Orange Blossom, the Nectarine Blossom, I'm sorry, excuse me, guys. So the Nectarine Blossom and the um, Honeysuckle Divana. They smell good mixed together. So that's not a bad idea. And then this other one, I think this one is Fig. So Fig and Lotus Flower. Not too sure if I really, really like this one or not, but let me see. Cause I hadn't smelled these in a while. This one really smells like the leaf of a fig. So if anybody's into like fresh and kind of like green scents or natural smelling scents, this fig, um, by the Joe Malone smells pretty good. I'm, or you would probably enjoy that one. And this last one is, I definitely can't read this one. Uh, so this is the same thing. So I had a few more of the samples, but she's used them up. So anyway, moving right along. So we're done with the candle haul and the comparison to the Joe Malone. And I was going to try to look up the other fragrance to try to compare what the number three smelled like the pomegranate sandalwood and then of course the lime mandarin and basil um this does smell like that so all i'm saying guys i'm not saying it's the actual dupe but they do smell really really similar okay and then moving right along oh i got this from the dollar tree these are so cute and this is used to put the candles out so it's a call it's a candle snuffer and I have one in gold and I have one in silver. So 
yeah one dollar in comparison to probably like ten dollars on amazon i should have picked up more of these so yeah okay all right so quick haul for my bath and body works so we just happened to pop in there today to check out um i was actually going in to buy some room sprays and i did not buy any of those um uh, but I found a lot of other stuff because they have a sale, y'all. And I might go back to go get some more stuff. Some more of the body spray. And some of these hand sanitizers for $2. And it came in my scent, too. That's why I was super duper excited. Um, yeah. So, that's the bad body works. All right. So, the first one I got was Tiki Bay. The Island Margarita and i think this was 75 percent off for this so for all of these items guys oops let me move this over so for all of these items at bath and body works i end up paying um believe it or not now that's focusing I think it says $28.43. And y'all, that is really, really good for this. And I have how many items? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's eleven items, $28.43 from Bath and Body Works. So all these that I picked up were 75% off. What the we end up getting the same one. Y'all, I'm gonna slap me twice. So I actually got um one of these for um Kennedy. And then I had picked up another fragrance that was different, but I don't know what happened. But it smells good, so I'll keep this one. And she, mm, this one smells good. Maybe I was trying to get this one as well. So there's two of these, okay? And they were originally fifteen fifty, and on sale those were. $3.87. I'm going back tomorrow and I'm going to go get some more, not of this particular one, but I'm going back to get a few more body sprays. Okay, for 75% off. And then these little hand sanitizers, guys, guess how much these were? Okay, they are, I paid 50 cents for them, but I think they're normally, how much are these? These are normally, I think, a dollar ninety-five, and so they are fifty cents. These are Kennedy's, so I'm gonna give those to her. So she picked those up, and then the antibacterial eucalyptus mint, my most favorite fragrance in the whole wide entire Bath and Body Works world. These hand sanitizers are normally six fifty. I bought these for $2 and I freaking love this one. Like this is my favorite one because it smells so fresh. And I actually went for that room spray, but actually, they didn't even have any. So that's actually why I didn't get um, the room spray because they didn't have that one at the time. And then my, um, another one of my favorites from Bath and Body Works is the uh, Moonlight Path. I love this one. I don't know why, but there's something in it that just makes me just like, oh, I don't know. But let me see if there are notes listed on here. So Night Blooming Jasmine, Blue Violet, and Sheer Lavender. This one smells so good. I don't know. It reminds me of a something from a long time ago, like growing up. But it's, it brings back memories. I don't know, but I freaking love that one so much. And then I got another Hello Beautiful. This is like one of the old school fragrances. Um, and I can't read the notes on here. White Gardenia, Jasmine Petals, uh, Magnolia Blossom, Pink, Nectarine, and Cotton Musk. So that's the Hello Beautiful, okay? And that's pretty much it from the Bath and Body Works haul. And then I got three more items that I wanna show you that I picked up from um, Big Lots. These, if you haven't tried these uh, moisturizing socks, guys, you need to get on these because these little things, they work pretty, pretty good, guys. And like, these are $1. I bet if you go try to buy these in Ulta or maybe Ross, they're probably gonna go for like $3 or $5. But these are $1 at um, Big Lot. So it's an intensive repairing sock by Epiel. 
This particular one has coconut oil, milk extract, and a hyal hyaluronic acid. So this is this is the one that I'm excited to use because of the hyaluronic acid. I want to try that one. I'll try that one first. And then this next one has um, shea butter, jojoba oil, and vitamin E. So I'm also I'm actually excited to try all of these. Okay. And then this last one is hemp and rosemary extract. And so they're all used to soften uh, dry and rough feet, deeply moisturize. And they come in um, larger sizes. So this one is actually for a larger size foot. Doesn't matter. But um, yeah, so. All right, guys. So that's the end of this video. If you guys have any questions or comments regarding these products, please do not hesitate. And um, until the next video, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. I could